So the idea of teaching the hold to your dog should really cement the idea that the dog understands this bringing to the front the, whatever the object is. And I showed you the object, anything from a, you know, a plastic bottle to a can to uh, a dumbbell, a newspaper, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Condition your dog in the hold on the table to hold different textures, right? So if you're training the dog early on, put different textures in your mouth. So the very, very first part of this exercise is what I showed, what I talked about before, which is the, the building the prey drive. And building the prey drive is taking whatever that object is, and I'm going to throw this now, and then I'm going to let him get it. I'm not going to worry about the form as much. So right here, I'm going to say, Goofy, bring, and I'm going to throw an object and he's gonna bring it somewhat close early on plot, and I'm gonna get the object back, right? So again, this idea in the beginning, the very, very first phase I do with the dog, right, is gonna be two objects, two tennis balls, two tugs, two whatever it is, right? Hey, plots. <laughs> I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna two objects. I'm gonna throw one, he brings it, I'm gonna give him the other one. That's the two ball idea, I've already done video on that. The next phase is, that's building the prey drive. Then the next phase is this hold idea, and then here. So Goofy sits, hold, he holds it, out, he gives it, right? And out is a real calm hold here, ouse, and he gives it. Hold, ouse, and he understands that picture, right? Hold, and then my hand comes in, ouse, and if he doesn't, it's gonna be a correction this way. So I'm gonna correct the dog into the object. Hold, if I take it and he doesn't give it, I want to kind of show him a picture. I'm gonna take it here. Aus is gonna be this correction into the object, aus, and then I'm gonna give him another chance. Aus, good. And right away praise him so he knows that's the good. The other thing is, in early on, I really do wanna see a lot of drive to getting So if I hold it in front of him, out, out, hold, right? He should take it, aus, he should give it. Hold, he takes it, aus, he gives it, right? Now I wanna be able to say, here, leave it, leave it, hold, hold, and he takes it, right? Aus, he gives it. I should be able to hold, aus, but if I don't want him to, aus, if I don't want him to take it, I wanna be able to say, leave it, and he doesn't take it, good. Hold and he takes it. That's real, that's a real fine point here. Aus. And that's gonna give Aus. I wanna give him the picture that if it's here, leave it, no. So that was my mistake, right? I, I didn't give him the correct the command at the time. Aus. I want him to understand that if it's in front of him and he's not clear, he should take it, right? The, the default behavior here should be, come here, sit. The default behavior should be hold. That's the default behavior. Goofy here. Goofy here. Sits. And don't punish your dog when you're not here. I'm just explaining this stuff to you over and over and over again, and he's kind of bored and he's starting to you know, exhibit behaviors that he knows we've already trained for. That's not a natural training regimen for him. So, Goofy here, sits. Leave it. No. That's a correction, right? Leave it. Aus. Good. Leave it. Good boy. Hold. He takes it. Goofy. Aus. He gives it. And that's really the picture you want the dog to have. So now if I throw this for him, hey, bring, watch when he comes back that he should really come back straight here and deliver it. Aus. And he gives it, right? That's really your idea. Good, Goofy Plots. That he should understand. He should have a natural desire for this object. It should be something he wants to pick up. It's something he wants to hold. It's something he wants to engage with. So when you make it aversive and you make it a negative, like you put too much pressure on it, then he's going to be really hesitant to picking it up, and that's not what I want to see. So have fun with your dog. The hold is a really important thing. Uh, I'll probably do more videos on it as we go on, and you'll see the Duanimator's progression on it. Goofy's really solid with it. You see Jimmy picking up keys. Jimmy's got a really nice retrieve as well. He's a retriever. Um, real natural for the dog to understand that, but have fun with your dog and take your time. This is at least two to three weeks of, of getting the basics down and then probably a good six months to a year to get it to this level. So take your time and have fun with your dog. Sit. Sit. Good. Good boy. Hold. Good. That's a good boy. Hold. Hold. Good. That's a good boy. Good boy.
Good. Out. Good boy. Twain. Hold. Good. Very good. That's a good boy. Good. Hold. No. Hold. No. Hold. Good. Good hold. 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 Out. That was your best one. Good. So we want to get Dwayne sitting here. Dwayne, sit. And putting him up on a table puts him in a different position, right? So on the, on the ground, he's going to run around, he's going to play. He's not used to this position and it brings him closer to me, closer to my eye level. Dwayne, sit. So everything is a little bit more unfamiliar to him, and that's why I want to introduce the hold on this level. And I'm also going to do it with something inanimate like a dowel. Good, good, no, hold, no, hold. So whenever he opens his mouth, I say no, because I want him to learn to hold this real calmly, not to, no, hold. And if you can see here, I pull his bottom lips and his top lips out of there so that he doesn't have any, he's not biting himself. And I try to support the lower jaw, because that's the jaw that's going to open when he does anything. The lower jaw opens. Good. And then I tell him, out. Good boy. And that's when he gets his praise. So one more time here, Dwayne. Sit. No, sit. Good boy. And the first thing I'm going to do is lift up here and put the dowel in. And I'm going to make sure the bottom lips are out too. And I want it right behind his canines, right? Uh, no. I don't want him chewing on No. 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 Good. And if he starts chewing, I'm going to hold his mouth until he's calm and then pat him a little bit. Good boy. Hold. And there he's nice and, nice and calm. Good. Hold. I'm going to try to take this hand away. Good. Out. And that was the best one he's done. All right, so again, I'm not using a dumbbell or anything else yet. I'm just using something that's completely inanimate. And I'm going to tell him, Dwayne, Dwayne, hold. I'm going to pull his lips away. And he's going to grab it. He's going to get a nice hold on it. And again, if he chews this up or he has a bad experience when I tell him, hey, knock it off. No. There's no, he's never going to put that back on whatever he's holding, whether it's a bird or a, or a, you know, a dowel, I mean, sorry, a dumbbell or whatever. He's going to just associate it with this experience. Good hold. And I've got him by his lower jaw here, right? He's really calm today. He's really doing well. Good hold. That's the best he's done. Best he's done yet. Out. Perfect. That was perfect, perfect, perfect. And the, for the past few days we've been doing this, probably about a week now, we'd started doing it with uh, Jeremy, who was out here. Janice started doing it with Jeremy. And uh, he's just learning now that being on this table is a good thing, holding this is a good thing. Good. Hold. Good. And I see how nice and calm he is here. You want to make sure you keep him calm. He's going to start to get a little bit chewy on it in a minute. Good boy. That's perfect. Good boy. I wish he was doing it worse so you can see it on the video, but he's not. That's perfect. Out. Perfect work.